After starting his career in aviation with Avro Canada, John Sanford served in highest management positions with Stanley Aviation, Rockwell International, Fairchild Republic, Gulfstream Aerospace, and Rolls-Royce. He is best known for launching the Dash 7 and the legendary Dash 8 aircraft while serving as president of de Havilland, Canada. John William Sanford was born in Pitney, England on July 9, 1934 and raised by his widowed mother from the time he was seven years old. He began a lifelong aviation career at 14, starting as an apprentice machinist with Westland Aircraft, and in 1953, John received Westland's Apprentice of the Year Award with the opportunity to attend technical college. In 1957, he graduated with a Master of Science degree in Aircraft Design and Aerodynamics from the Cranfield Institute of Technology. In early 1957, John was recruited by Avro Canada, prompting a marriage proposal to Shirley Bradshaw, whom he married in July, and a month later, the couple sailed to Canada, departing Liverpool aboard the new RMS Sylvania, arriving in Montreal, and John says, Shirley and I stepped off the gangway in Montreal with lots of love and hope and just $300 in my pocket. They settled in Toronto, where John began his work with Avro Canada as a professional engineer. But cancellation of the Avro Aero program in 1959 left John among over 14,000 looking for work. He quickly joined five ex-Avro designers and engineers to form Avian Industries to design and produce an autogyro in Georgetown, Ontario. And after leaving Avian Industries, he moved to Stanley Aviation in Denver, Colorado, working from 1960 to 1962 as manager of pre-design, when Rockwell International recruited him to work on the U.S. space program from 1962 to 73. He became manager of research and pre-design of advanced space launch systems and eventually became shuttle proposal manager, leading the team that won the NASA shuttle contract. In 1974, John returned to Canada to head Rockwell's Canadian Admiral Corporation. Then from 1977 to 1985, he was president and CEO of de Havilland Aircraft Canada in Toronto and led the team that transformed de Havilland from a utility aircraft builder such as the famous bush plane, the Beaver, to become a primary supplier of turbo aircraft for the world's commuter airlines. This meant completing the introduction of the four-engine Dash 7 to the long list of aircraft manufactured by de Havilland, followed by the creation of the highly successful twin-engine Dash 8, certified on schedule in September 1984. And with it came publication of the de Havilland Canada story by Fred Hodson, published by CanNav Books. In addition to his work with de Havilland, John Sanford held top positions in the industry in the United States, including Fairchild Republic Aircraft Corporation, Roar Industries, an aircraft parts manufacturer in San Diego, and president of Gulfstream Aerospace, leading the company to over $1 billion in sales with the design, production, and marketing of Gulfstream corporate jets. For the next seven years, he worked as managing director and president of Rolls-Royce in England and the United States, leading the company to profitability, acquisition, and development of new aircraft engines. In 1995 to 1997, John returned as president and CEO of Rolls-Royce in North America. In his expanded role, he oversaw growth of business in Canada, the United States, and Mexico, plus sales and service of UK products to airlines and the military in those countries. 
In 1995, he oversaw the $525 million acquisition and integration of the U.S.-based Allison Engine Company into Rolls-Royce. Sanford is best known in Canada for his association with the DHC-8. In some circles, he's been called the father of the Dash 8, having taken it through development, certification, and market launch. In an article for the Journal of the Canadian Aviation Historical Society in the fall 2004 issue, John described the launch of the Dash 8 program as a complex political challenge and was there to congratulate the pilots on the first flight of that remarkable and successful project. In 1986, de Havilland Canada was sold to Boeing and was then acquired by Bombardier Aerospace, which continued production of the Dash 8. The aircraft is a Canadian aviation industry success, with over 1,200 being built and continuing in production through its stretched derivative, the Bombardier Q-Series aircraft. After making his mark with de Havilland Canada and the Dash 8 rollout, and following retirement from Rolls-Royce in 1997, John and Shirley moved to La Jolla, California, where they live today. 56 years after starting his career in Canada, John continues his affiliation with the aviation industry as an aerospace consultant and as a board member of MDS Technologies and Avior, both based in Montreal. In a long and successful career that began as a teenage apprentice in England and continuing his association with the aviation industry today, John Sanford has held some of the top positions with major companies. John William Sanford was inducted as a member of Canada's Aviation Hall of Fame at ceremonies held in Ottawa on May 30, 2013.